Welcome everyone to another edition of Highball Advisors Questions and Answers. My name is John McNamara. Today's question comes in from Ben S. And he says, regarding tier two, when the railroad retirement board says highest earning months, is that taking your annual wages and divide by 12 or is it looking at your actual 60 highest months? I know wages get reported to the railroad retirement board in total, but are they reported as month as well? I ask because bonuses, which can be a large percent of total compensation, could throw those numbers off. Maybe it wouldn't matter in totality at the end, but I figured it would ask. Well, you're probably right. At the end of the day, it probably really doesn't matter in the totality at the end, but uh, you could pick up some additional months. It's what they call, uh, you'll see them on your BA6 forms, are deemed months. So you've had, uh, you've had a big amount of money come in on a bonus. And let's say you're no longer, uh, uh, let's say you're furloughed, but you still have a relationship with the railroad, or maybe you have smaller income amounts in the next couple months, they'll move that money over and it'll be called a deemed month. All right. So it's deemed. I'll, I'll do a video on deemed uh, months because it's kind of important. Um, but as long as you have that relationship with the railroad, they'll spread out the, they'll spread out the bonuses. Um, uh, to uh, to further months. So I hope that helps you out, Ben. Uh, everyone, please send your questions in and I'll get to them. In the meantime, stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.